right, Marvel, so we are here for our science week one, lesson one lesson. We're going to be talking about plants. At this point, we're really just going to get all of the information that we need, so that way we're set up for success for our experiments and everything else we're doing the rest of this week. Throughout this video, please feel free to pause as you need, so that way you can make sure that you are um, getting down the notes that we need, and of course, you can always re rewind as well. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. So... What are we talking about? Well, this week we're talking about plants. Plants are two, um, two things come to mind, right? We think about like these more flowering plants, like what we might see in the woods or in somebody's garden. But plants are also the vegetables and the fruits that we eat. It's the grains that we eat in our bread, right? So plants are super important. What are plants exactly though? We know what a plant is when we see it, but what is it? So as you have probably seen with your notes, you have this right here. So you need to be writing this, okay? These are the actual notes that you're taking and you're just filling it in. All right, so what are plants? Plants are living things that produce their own food using sun energy. We call these things producers. The main important things about plants, they are living and they produce their own food using energy from the sun. Again, feel free to pause to make sure that you have a chance to get this down. There's quite a few different parts of plants that we're gonna be looking at, okay? So let's go ahead and start with that. So parts of a plant, again, this is within your notes, you're just writing the definition. What are the roots? Well, roots anchor the plant, right? Roots, this is what we have down here. You do not need to draw the picture. You just need to write the definition. So roots anchor that plant. They anchor the plant within the soil to make sure that it doesn't blow away. They're also absorbing water and nutrients. That's how that plant is getting the water and nutrients that it needs to survive. From the roots, we then get, oop, I went one too far. From the roots, we then go to the stem, right? The stem supports the plant, again, making sure it's not just falling down. And then it transports that water and nutrients. Those water and nutrients come in through the roots and then they go up through the stem. They then are able to go into the leaves. The leaves make food for the plant. We're gonna be talking a little bit more about that and they get rid of waste. What waste are we talking about? Well, we are talking about water and oxygen, right? Plants give off oxygen, that's their waste product and then we breathe it in along with some other living things. How do they make the food for the plant? Well, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this, but part of that has to do with the stomata. The stomata are these little tiny openings within leaves that allows it to uh, get rid of that waste. All right, then we have flowers, right? So flowers, the main um, reason for them, I mean, they do look pretty, right? But it's because they produce pollen for reproduction. Yeah, pollen, which not many people like, a lot of times it makes people sneeze. Pollen is an, uh, incredibly important because that's how plants are able to reproduce. That's why plants are able to create more plants. All right, so now we know the parts of a plant. How do they make all this food? Well, the way that they make all of this food is through photosynthesis. Again, you're writing down this definition. Photosynthesis is that process that plants use to turn water, carbon dioxide and sunlight into food. That's the three things that it needs. It needs water, needs carbon dioxide. Remember, this is a type of air. This is an element found within the air. This is what we breathe out, the plants breathe in. And it also needs that sunlight because that is where it is getting the energy from. If you'd like to add to your notes, during, uh, when they make this food, the food is actually glucose. Another word for glucose is sugar. So essentially that is what the plant's food is. All right, just a little bit more. How are they doing all of this photosynthesis? Well, they're doing this because they're able um, to utilize their chlorophyll, okay? Chlorophyll is what makes the plants green. It's found within chloroplasts. These are within the leaves and it collects the energy from the sun. That's how they're able, that's how plants are able to harness that sun energy in order to make um, that food that they need to survive. All right, then lastly, how do flowers reproduce? How do we have all of these flowers, all of these plants, excuse me, all around? Well, 
The stamen, the stamen is this thing right here, okay? So the stamen creates pollen. Pollen is all of this orange stuff. That pollen then goes to the pistil. Now, it does not necessarily go straight to that same pistil. Bees help pollinate because a bee will pick up some pollen from here, and then the bee will go around and around and around and around, and then it'll find another flower that it wants to give to. Once that pollen has fertilized that pistil, then those seeds can be created. All right, friends, this is all the background knowledge that we're going to need to be successful this week with our plants. Please remember that you have paused and rewound as you needed to to get all these notes down. When you're ready, bring the notes to me and then we can move on to our practice.